Eres perfecta mujer, de la cabeza a los pies. I thought Pancho would never look good on me. I was getting ready to donate them. I live in New Jersey. This time of the year, this is my go-to outfit. A short sleeve wool sweater with a midi skirt. When I added a poncho, something looks a bit off. For years, I couldn't figure out why. I started to look at them as a coat versus a scarf and pay attention to the silhouette. Everything started to work. The poncho has a letter A kind of silhouette and so does the skirt. So instead of A-line skirt, I switched to a pencil skirt. Now it starts to look better. By the way, everything I'm wearing today, the link is down below. But the skirt is midi length. Because it's under my knee, they can make my legs look cut off. I am 5'2", so midi skirts is one of the things very hard, especially if you have short legs like me. So I'm switching to a pair of tall boots, and this is gonna prevent the skirt from making my legs look even shorter. Now, this is a much better punctual outfit. You could just stop here, or if you want to take it to the next level, ta-da, add a belt. I just recently started to do this. Once you add a belt to the poncho, it works like magic because the belt has transformed your poncho from an oversized cape to a sweater with cinched waist. Not only it gives you that nice waist definition, but also it can make your legs look longer because now the eye is gonna believe anything under that belt are all your legs. Inexpensive belt from H&M, it was like 15 bucks. I've never tried any faux fur poncho until this year. I'm so glad I did. Now I'm in love. I used to stay away from them because I was concerned maybe they're gonna make me look older. The faux fur seems to make it so complicated. I thought it was impossible to make it look good on someone of my height. Once I started to look at it as a coat, I realized the under layer needs to be streamlined. Because of the shape, the length, and design of the faux fur poncho, it doesn't look good if my under layer has any other design details. For instance, if it has prints, or if I were wearing a pleated skirt like this. So I switched my under layer to something that fits closer to my body, a bodysuit, and a pencil skirt in faux leather. This works much better with the volume and the length of the faux fur poncho. Natural, glamorous look. They're gonna make your outfit look rich looking, even though they don't really cost that much. So they work the best for any special occasion if you have coming up. For instance, company and your parties, maybe you're invited as a wedding guest, or maybe you're mother of the bride, mother of the groom, anything where you want your outfit, including your outer layer to make a statement, faux fur poncho is the way to go. I love how this poncho has real sleeves. That's what makes them so much easier to style. You can just wear them like a real coat. If you find the poncho very hard to wear, ask yourself, are you getting the right length? Normally that means, is it too long for you? The length of your poncho can make it or break it. If you're petite like me, shorter poncho is much easier to style and longer poncho can often make you look overwhelmed. If you do like longer poncho, for instance, I live in New Jersey and our winter can get really cold. Longer poncho is much more functional. Then go with something like this. This has asymmetrical hem. Even though it's longer, but because it's cut at an angle, it is still showing off your legs and even your waistline. And this is much more flattering on someone who already has short legs. Otherwise, if I went with a traditional horizontal hem kind of poncho, this length is only gonna make my legs look so cut off. If you like the luxurious feel, a tiered faux fur poncho like this is gonna take it to the next level. I love how this looks so fun and flirty, but in the meantime, anything you wear with it, this is gonna give you that Hollywood kind of glamorous look. Because it's tiered, you do want to be more selective about what you wear underneath to make sure your proportion looks the very best. Since the poncho is already making a statement, I love to wear something very simple underneath, such as an all black outfit. I'm not really very big on all black outfits, but with this poncho, I find this the easiest to style. Even though the under layer and the outer layer both are all black. It's the contrasting of the fabrics, the faux fur. That's what make 
the outfit looks so sophisticated and interesting. Plus, you can just get out the door in 10 minutes. You might be thinking, this is a type of coat you want to reserve for the next special occasion coming up. But you don't have to. I love to wear this even with my most basic cashmere sweater and skinny jeans outfit. This is a kind of coat that can take you from the desk to dinner. If you're going to work and then afterwards you have a day night, put on this coat and it will transform any basic outfit you wear into a very elegant and feminine outfit. You will look effortlessly chic. By the way, this is from my site PetiteDressing.com. That's why the lens works perfectly for anybody who is under 5'4". I am 5'2", and this makes sure it's long enough to make me warm, but doesn't look overwhelming on my height. Another great way to wear poncho and skirt combination, go with a shorter skirt, like this one. A faux leather skirt, a couple inches above my knee. When I top it over with my poncho, my upper body is completely covered by the poncho. This makes entire outfit to focus on my legs. And this is my favorite way to make my legs look elongated. When it gets a little colder, I like to wear them with a pair of tall boots. These are Western style influenced tall knee high boots with pointed toe. These are from Shoots. I love to wear this combination and when the weather gets a little colder, you can also add a wool hat. The hat is from Saks. In the fall and winter, a lot of us like to wear leggings. Poncho and leggings, they're made for each other. These are leggings from Liverpool, Los Angeles. Normally with leggings, I would go with a longer sweater top. But these are dressy. You can't really tell they're leggings because of the subtle plaid prints and the faux pockets. So any kind of sweater top will do. And I like to wear this with my tall boots from Taryn Rose. These are my commuter boots. They have low wedgie and very easy to walk in. When I top this over with a poncho, ta-da, this is my favorite commute outfit. No matter it's raining or snowing, this keeps me warm and in style. You can also pair this with flat boots or over-the-knee boots. There are a lot of different ways you can wear a poncho with your jeans. I have found what's most easy is to go with a pair of skinny jeans. This time of the year, I love to wear skinny jeans with a pair of tall boots. These are my comfortable boots from Geox. They have very low wedgie heels and very easy to walk in. This is another pair of my go-to boots when I need to walk a long distance. I love to wear this with my poncho and this is a very comfortable outfit that can also keep me warm. Pancho is one of the most popular layering pieces for this time of the year. There are so many other layering pieces, such as a trench coat, a blazer, and any other winter coats. I am 5'2", I used to struggle a lot with layering. I mean, I love to wear coats in the winter, but whatever I wear underneath it, it just never seemed to look right on me. Until I started to pay attention to one thing, and that is proportion. Proportion really matters a lot, no matter how tall you are. But if you happen to be petite like me, if you have shorter legs like me, proportion is critical. After all these years of trial and error, I finally figured out what is the best way to add layers to your body so that your proportion look the very best. Watch this video. These are the layering tips that changed my life and they will change yours too.